I got quite a bit of views compared to my normal videos on this general agent video where I compared some of these general agents. Now there's two that I missed. One of them is GenSpark. A lot of people really like GenSpark, so I want to try that one. And the other one is Scout. Anyway, so you Scout and GenSpark. Let's sign up for them. The Scout AI. I have to find this. Scout.new and GenSpark. This is what we're going to try next is different interesting so i was thinking of making an agi bench and the way we do it is by testing these general agents against some use cases we have 95 use cases here which is interesting i think these web scraping ones would be easy well it depends what web pages we could have different levels as well but pretty good and people in the comments were like GenSpark, and then also scout so you want to do follow-up ting, man. Today we're doing Scout Gen Spark Skylight Manus. And I guess we could do Suna as well. The question with these general agents is so... Common question I see is what can you do? What are the use cases? And thankfully Manus puts a lot of use cases just on their front page. Explore more use cases. They have all these categorized use faces. Use cases. Unfortunately, this didn't scratch my itch of like, I want to see the cool shit this can do because the hype Manus got was like, extraordinary. It went pretty viral. Everyone was talking about it. AGI is here with Manus. But literally, I think pretty much all of the use cases we've been able to do, at least with like, self-hosted stuff. Now, the way they've done it, the user interface, the planning, the execution is actually really well and polished. So I don't mean to say anything negative about Manus. I'm speaking more, I guess, about the virality and reaction and my reaction and how the gap between them, I guess. I have a sheet, a list of 95 use cases for AI agents. The first one, what should be the easiest one? I'm going to just really, I tried to do this a while ago with Agent Zero and Open Interpreter and it wasn't going so well so yeah we're gonna try all the new generation of agi new gen 2025 agi software essentially and i want to continue from the last video so the last video i actually tried to get it to get video of youtube shorts that's a bit harder than other kinds of text data for instance so just to keep with that same theme i'm going to continue that with the new tools uh, so what was my prompt exactly create a new create a excel spreadsheet that contains all the analytics for the youtube shorts for the creator tech friend just get videos to start with that is a bit of a different prompt but will this even let me submit it i think i have to sign in anyway so this is scout.new i didn't really read their landing page maybe we can do that while this does its thing. Okay, they didn't really have one. It's just straight away use the app, which I like. That's a good landing page. Let Scout cook. I'm going to try the exact same prompt with GenSpark. Will that work? Which LLMs under the hood? I have no idea and I don't really care because it's not really a self-host tool. It's like a normie AGI, which is cool. Yo, <laughs> Moe, don't worry. What's going on, Moe? Don't worry. We're testing AGI, bro, is here. Look, I've asked AGI to get some analytics of YouTube and create an Excel sheet. Oh, crap, it's done. It's made markdown files with general analytics. Honestly, my prompt wasn't too great, but this is pretty cool. And now it's getting the five shorts URL to be filled. No, this is really good. Meanwhile, I'm trying to ask GenSpark the same thing. Let's see. Oh, shit. Dude, GenSpark. No way. Dude, GenSpark did so good. What is this? It made a full dashboard for me. That's so good. Look at that. Wow, wait. You guys don't see that too well. Let me try to do this. We can work with this. Anyway, this is GenSpark. And I've given it the exact same prompt here that I did with Scout and pretty much all the other things. And it did it so fast too. 
That's got to be less than 15 minutes. This is really good. Like, I would use this. This is something I, I definitely needed. This is crazy. It even gave me insights. Highest performing video, best engagement. Can you complete for all the data on the channel or tech friend? Shorts only. Oh, that was all my credits. Gemspark costs $25 a month. Guys, donate. Damn, how did Scout go? Scout's still cooking, man. I've let Scout cook for so long. I think it got stuck. It actually did the shorts. It's got the data. Can it put it in a sheet? Super slow, it seems. But maybe more thorough? This happened all so fast. What did it do? Video. Using tool understand video. That's like a tool it has? Even if I could get the transcript here. Seems like Genspark has a tool for YouTube videos. It's pretty good. We could definitely automate a lot of stuff with here. I'm liking Genspark. I'm in favor of paying for Genspark and pushing it to the limit. Pushing it. $25 a month. Not that bad for AGI. I, I don't even pay for ChatGPT. Cooler DM says chat GPT rappers have no moat. I disagree. I've, I've talked a little bit about this before, but I think you can tailor an experience and that's enough to be ahead in that experience. Maybe not in technical capability, but that's not really what these GPT rappers are trying to be. They just wrap off whatever API. Well, chat GPT, I guess. Analytics from YouTube videos. Get video analytics on YouTube channel. Genspark did it really well, really fast. I think Skylight, how did Skylight do again? I don't think it did very well. It wouldn't let me download it. Oh, but it actually did do it. Tatina says, how many computers? Uh, yes. I think Manus did it as well. I didn't do it as good as Genspark, but we're just going to do a yes, no thing here. And then soon, I think Suna had some trouble. Everything, but I do think this is generally a pretty, depending on where it is. We're going to push Genspark a bit further. Look, it didn't do browser use. It just did the video tool. And then also, I think the most impressive thing was, how do we see the create web page? So I guess you didn't technically create the Excel sheet I asked. If I download this, it's just the... PDF. I mean, we can't get the code, but you can't actually download a Excel, which is, I guess is technically what I asked for. Like, let's bring some subjectivity into this benchmark. I don't think this is, that's, uh, maybe I decided this wasn't a good benchmark or a way to benchmark. That's the thing with these AGI agents is there's so many different use cases. Everyone's going to be trying them for other stuff. How do I cover the most ground? How do I... I think maybe a better way to do it is like this. Go to the agents tab. We use stuff like this just on their features type shit. I'm creating a new tab. We're going to call it next gen agents. Next gen. <laughs> and then we can test stuff. Can make files. Terminal use. OS use. Browser use. Planning. Yes, that's kind of a feature. No, it's not really something that should matter whether it plans or not. If it's able to get stuff done, <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of hard. Try having it check a subreddit and find a thread by a user asking for help and a reply to the user. This is cool, but the issue with this one, and I guess also the TikTok one, is user authentication. Because a lot of these are running in a cloud. They don't have your authentication, so you can either put your username or password, or I don't think they have any good ways, so can you run parallel? Manus, Skylight, Genspark. What was the other one? Suna. Make Excel sheet. I want to try the same prompt with Suna. We want open source to win, so let's see. Yeah, it probably can log in. I just don't want to give login details. But you're right, that's probably possible. Listen to audio and watch video. I don't think any of them can do that. I don't really expect it to be able to listen to audio. It, sh it can use a transcription tool to get any spoken word at least. Watch video is an interesting one, but like really no models can 
watch video very well except supposedly gemini but even then this suna just seems super slow dude we should probably have a thing for speed oh, slow i think menace was kind of oh that's a good point it's price menace is so expensive compared to gen spark that's a great thing to put here as well is cost let's see if we can get one of these agents to finish this or at least use costs let's download a csv i'm gonna try genspark i like genspark it didn't use browser use and stuff which makes me wonder what things can you do with it i don't know i'm just curious bite the bullet with chen chen genspark okay, actually we can do pricing here 24 for plus let's just do their mid-tier pay mid-tier bro mid-tier pro plan all right 25 bucks can you pay for suna suna just seems broken to me dude i don't know it just stopped here so honestly i'm gonna i'm gonna this this work i'm gonna do it like a no not really unfortunately all right what's menace's price who knows someone actually said it in the chat before i've forgotten the thing about menace is it's it seems to have like a pretty decent free tier 39 dollars per month we're not going to worry about per tokens and shit. We're just going to do the cost for mid tier. Nope, that was Menace. Skylight. I think Skylight's going to be way more expensive, dude. 40. That's not too bad. Unlimited computers and interaction. That's pretty good. Oh, I low key want to buy Skylight now. <laughs> no, it'll be so much slower. I don't know what Suna's cost is. It could be free. Skylight has OS use. Manus has browser use. I'm gonna give a yes for this because it's implied with OS use. Terminal use, definitely Manus. Can't remember if Skylight had terminal use. Oh. So I guess it's implied through OS use. We're gonna do OS in brackets here. So what should I get? You get 3,900 credits with Manus. You get 10,000 with Genspark. But the credits are like, how much does one thing consume? Can we see? I have 900 credits. Seems like a lot. So my top five YouTube shorts query only cost 97 credits. And we can choose to create a web sprite like that. Or he just gave us a sheet. Dude, that's pretty good. This is actually exactly what I wanted. Honestly, I kind of want Manus. They have a generous free tier. I don't even need to upgrade. I'm saying? Austin, what's your opinion on Manus? And what made you choose GenSpark? Because... Genspark has video gen slides, super agent. Is that what I used? I don't know what I used. What is this? Can we see? Looks kind of, might be research me. Research me. It's like a button. Oh, you paste your LinkedIn, Twitter, deep research, video gen, all agents. Okay, we can see all agents call for you. Agentic data, agentic fact check. This, I don't know. Doesn't give me enough info. Also, what happened to Scout? <laughs> I totally forgot about Scout. What was this URL? Scout.new? Did it just not work? This one has even less info. I can't even see. I think it didn't work, right? Let's try it again. We have max vibes mode. I think it was super slow and it didn't finish. And this is expensive and frustrating when it would waste $2.50 misunderstanding a prompt. What's my use case for subscribing? So my current use case is to personally, I wanted to scrape data from YouTube shorts. And then what's something else I want to do? Shout out to, this is for Austin Futura. We're going to buy the plan because they think Genspark is great. And I respect that. Complete the sheet with all the videos on the channel. Short. Sure videos on the channel I'm trying to see my manners thing it's browsing the web dude this gem sparks pretty fast i guess because it has this video tool will it get all the videos it seems like there's only four it got manners was able to get 54 entries here in the spreadsheet though it only gets views gem spark got 13 does it think it has all of them that contains all of them yep see we're limited by this tool Whereas Manus shouldn't be. Now let's see how many credits we have left with Manus. 
741. Yeah, that only costs again like 90 tokens. So we're going to say, keep going. There should be at least 100 shorts. Now let's see how many there are. Oh, here we go. 285. There should be at least 150 shorts. I'm going to say the same thing to Gemspark. Let's see if they're able to keep going on a loop, man. Just keep going without breaking. Is Klein with Deep Sea V3 better than Manus and Genspark and all these newer agents or just super similar? Oh, honestly? Honestly, I think it could be better. Could. There, no doubt Manus and Genspark are using way smarter models, but with the right MCP tools for your use case, you could be able to outperform them in some use cases. I'd be down to try it. Even with Augment or both Augment, the same task. I have perplexity. I have browser use actually. The thing about DeepSeek though is it doesn't have, I don't know if it'll work anyway, but DeepSeek doesn't have multimodality. So it can't like read screenshots from the browser use. I'm not sure if Manus does, but I assume so because it says viewing browser a lot. It's definitely very task specific. That's why I like AGI, like general agents. It's like you're probably generally worse. Looks like Genspark is finished. I wonder how, how many models they got. How many videos? They called the tool one, two, three, four, five times. Oh, parallel search. Interesting. This is a SERP search. I don't know. It's not able to call. Tool is limited. You can only search like tech friend shorts. It can't get like a whole 150 shorts. It can't get the, I don't know. I had a fear about this for Genspark. We'll try to see if we can make files like browser use. I'm not sure if it has browser terminal or OS use. So for my use case, I don't know, it's not looking good. Meanwhile here, Manus is using browser use to go deep into my shorts. You can see here it's scrolling down. I wonder if it is at each step, it seems like it's collecting data deep into my shorts. <laughs> it's only 53 deep into my shorts. Dude, this create a website thing, honestly, man, it's more slower than slower than you'd want it. So taking this from a fast to a good. Here we go. 15 plus shorts. Dude, L, L Gen Spark, man. I don't care for this shit. My prompt was making Excel sheet. It's been obviously fine tuned for dashboards with HTML. No, my cup of tea. Damn, I'm regretting paying the 30 bucks. Oh, we can do video, actually. That's pretty good. We could use all our credits for video. I don't regret it anymore. Oh, hell yeah. Let me make some videos. Oh, this dance. Dancing character night emote. Can we do multiple? Can't do multiple. This probably will take a while. But that's pretty cool. There's probably a lot of use cases that this would be really good for. Um, just being able to use it as video gen is pretty sick. Or would my prompt get turned into? Cartoon. Yo, the true AGI is UI TARS. That's actually not a bad call. Do browser. I've heard of that one too. See, there's quite a lot of these ones here. It's pretty hard to objectively compare them. That's also why I haven't like, shown the sheet off too much. I do like a vibes based approach. That's kind of what I'm doing now. And Oh shit, Gensparks Video Gen with Kling 2 is actually pretty good. I didn't really want a background, but that's pretty fine. I like that. We can just download that. Amazing. So I don't regret paying for Gensspark because I will probably use this Video Gen a lot. It also has call for me. This is what sets it apart as well as you can call people in the US or Japan with this, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> Give me some ideas that we can accomplish through the phone. What about cold calling like a brand deal? I want to find a better use case where we can actually use MCP and it, it'll work better than if we were coding something. That kind of concludes what I wanted to do.